Hi, my name's Flossie and I live in this Utilimaster Ford 1999 step van, my tiny home on wheels. After a beautiful fiery episode last week, this week we're fire and watering it again, just slightly differently. The in-between, between traveling, between setting off, the planning and the preparation, the waiting and the apprehension. We'll get there, but we have to stay in the present moment first. Most people aren't in the present moment. Exactly the same way that I came in. Because they're unconsciously thinking that the next moment will probably be more important than the one that they're living right now. There's more than one? Whoa. I woke up this morning with some serious hopes and dreams of taking the drum out into the forest and going for a beautiful walk and playing amongst the moss and the trees. It is raining. Everything is so wet. So unfortunately that's not going to happen, I don't think. I am going to see if I can have a little fire and sit by that and uh, some shelter under a tree and stay a little bit dry and warm and play outside because I feel like I need to do some practice and I want to make it special I want to feel the ritual and uh, magic of playing this instrument and the gift that it truly is so thank you so much and I was also really excited to see so many comments on last week's video of you all excited that um, I was learning to play and had received this gift and for the future possibilities of Amanda and I to play our drums together that will depend on how they sound together tuning wise mine is a major key and Amanda's in a minor key so they may or may not work but some notes will and we'll figure that out together I was hoping to go for a nice walk and then when I woke up and it was raining a lot I felt really kind of discouraged and while rain is really beautiful I've been a bit unwell in the last week so I'm now on some antibiotics I went to the doctor um, my immune system's just a little bit run down but I have a couple of tarot readings that I'm gonna do for people who've ordered them on my website which is really lovely I appreciate the support so much <sighs> my impending thousand dollar bill for the hard drive replacement is coming I haven't yet heard back from them they said they were gonna take 10 business days so somehow I've managed to create three bi three videos since then um, so I'll do that. But I thought to get myself in the spirit of it, I would pull the drum out and play a little bit. And get some practice. <sighs> Feels really special to both have this and be able to play it. Life is a bit of an up and down journey sometimes, so taking care of oneself, one's body, learning boundaries, specifically when to say no to commitments and when to <sighs> prioritize taking time to feel into what one's, need, one's own needs are. I really think that I've done a lot of trying to keep everybody happy in my life and forgetting about myself so bodies have an amazing way of like telling you to stop when things catch up
in between the chaos and the things that you can see exists the true potential of all that can be. It is there that you see connection and the paths to what is next where we start to see patterns of what our life reflects. Look into the spaces, see what gets ignored, or maybe find the secrets and where they have been stored. So much filled with wonder, and there's so much left unseen. There's so much to discover. In the spaces in between. You are not a tree. You are not bound to the ground you walk on. You have wings and dreams and a heart full of wonder. So pick up your feet and go. Spread kindness like a wildflower wherever you go. Fall in love with the life you live. And always leave people. Can you see the moon? Better than you found them. Today is an exciting day. I am heading on the ferry. It looks really beautiful out. Oh, makes such a difference when the sun is shining. It's still a little cold. I've just been having my foot on to keep warm. Um, obviously, I don't have my heater on all the time. It just didn't feel like worth running when the sun is out. So, island time. I'm doing some errands. I'm having a day back in some familiar stomping ground which feels really nice. But the thing that I really wanted to tell you today was um, my power consumption. Um, I am currently bringing in more power with the solar panels than I am consuming. Uh, that's really exciting to be consuming power while making it. Often it happens that I make a whole bunch of power while driving and then it runs itself down again and you make it up. But to be like making power and using it is awesome. Yeah. When it's a cloudy day too often it tends to be you go and make power and then you stop and then you use it up and then you make power and you stop and you use it up. But uh, let me show you. I am just editing and getting this next video next week's video ready i have a happy lamp on for extra sunshine i'm currently can you even see that there we go battery is really nice and full i'm using 150 watts and then if we look here hopefully you can see it it's bringing in 216 and it fluctuates a little bit and my batteries are in absorption mode, which is neat. <sighs> There's the ocean! I wanted to remind you that there are a couple more pots in my web store, flossyrocks.ca 
and some stickers. And I also offer tarot readings too. All of your support is so deeply appreciated. I'm very grateful. And this will all go to support my hard drive recovery fund as well. You all are amazing. Thank you so much. New pottery, these candlesticks you see here, will be coming soon. I'll be sure to let you know when it's available. It's been a wild day. I have done errands, picked up mail, glazed some pottery, been to the supermarket, and now I am visiting a friend I haven't seen in a while to make sure they're doing well, pick up some stuff, exchange some fun goods, bits and pieces. I have cookies. Yeah, life is good. But I'm going to be tired tonight. I think I've said before on this channel that I sometimes feel like a solar powered human, a little plant or a flower that relies heavily on getting vitamin D in my eyeballs for my mental health and my happiness. I do have a happy lamp. You've probably seen it in the video. It's the big square thing that is sometimes behind my computer. <sighs> yeah, I am doing so much better than I was in December. Oh, yes, I can feel spring coming. The nettles will be growing soon. I'll be making and processing, making nettle pesto and putting it in greens. <sighs> I cannot tell you how much of a big relief this feels like. And I have some very, very exciting travel plans coming up really soon, which is exciting. That's a big ass tree. And the stuff is super sticky and amazing to collect for fire starter and actually has medicinal properties to it. It is very sticky to eat. The sun is just streaming in the van. It is so nice. <sighs> Look at that blue sky out there. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have sunshine. How many octopus are in this video? In this clip, how many octopus do you see?
It's the unglamorous in between, preparing for travel, working, getting oneself organized, that isn't always social media friendly, that doesn't make amazing content, yet is so vitally important. The core of your true self is never lost. Let go of all the pretending and the becoming you've done just to belong. Curl up with your rawness and come home. You don't have to find yourself. You just have to let yourself in. <laughs> it's okay. <sighs> I was hoping for a really beautiful striking sunset but we might get a misty one. I am not super around usually for sunrises so sunsets it is. <sighs> so I'm heading to a lake. I'm excited about it and I was thinking earlier how much actually filming occasionally just gets me out and about a little bit more often to do interesting things. I do them anyway, but on days like today, sometimes a little extra oomph is needed. So telling a story or coming out to talk to you, but doing it somewhere interesting has been really great motivation. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Thank you. Um, this lake is really beautiful and the mist comes in and settles on it. Today was supposed to snow. I don't think it will. It threatened to several times, but alas, no real snow. The top of the mountain close by got a tiny dusting, but not really that much. And later on, I think I will talk to you about my plans for traveling for the next two months, because I have a lot of plans coming up a lot of them I want to share in advance with my Patreons in case you want to meet up with me. Uh, but I'm going some exciting places and it takes a lot of planning. There's a lot of wetland in this area and a lot of toad habitat apparently. go for a paddle. I don't even know if it's actually possible because of how densely overgrown it is but you can see like water's right there but I just think it would be a really beautiful place to watch sunset from. Oh yeah I can hop in here. Getting out into the main lake through this brush might be a bit of a 
the job. But like, the colors already look beautiful. All right, time to get organized real quick. Because the kayak takes a bit of time to assemble and put together. So I need to do that real quick before it gets any darker. Hopefully I have timed everything right for sunset, but we got this. I think the sunset will actually be quite pretty. And it didn't take me too, too long to put the boat together. Brush, boom, plants in the way. Okay, now to get in without getting very, very wet feet. Ow. Okay. So this is so shallow. I think I need to put you down for a second. I'm in, but I'm not actually really floating. Probably nearly impossible because I think all of these plants are spiky. The sunset is over there. I want to get through here. I think this is my best chance. But all these plants are incredibly spiky. And the, all the water is only like a foot deep. It looks like a beaver is damming all along here. So it makes sense that I can't get out. There's a possibility of getting through there, but I'm going to just pedal through here and check. Beavers probably heard me making an awful kerfuffle and is like, Get out of my house! Get out of my lake! I'm like, sorry beaver! Please share! But yes, let's leave his house alone. Um, and try this little tiny gap that I found over here. Once I'm out there, I'm sure I'll find a much better way back in again. This is gonna be un... There's something in the water over there. I reckon the beaver was over there. And I'm coming from its home that way. There he is. There's more than one. Whoa. So cool. Oh, there's the other one, over there. Two beavers! In this lake. Maybe there's another beaver house over there. I don't know. Gorgeous. It just keeps getting, getting more and more beautiful. Holy shit, look at that. I was just trying to get my drone working because I thought it'd be really gorgeous to take some drone shots. But I just got it back from the repair shop and it hasn't paired and there is no internet service here. So I don't even know if that's possible. I came here specifically to film sunset. So I'm sitting in the middle of a lake. The colors are slowly, slowly fading away. And maybe I'll try pairing the drone again, but I was like, I can't miss this. This is gorgeous. So here you are. It's not drone footage yet, but it's beautiful.
we got to see beavers. It's probably one of the few things that I really hate about technology is it's constant relying on needing to be connected to the internet. And I don't want to be connected to the internet all the time. I really like being out places where there's no other humans, no other people and no signal. It's really freaking lovely. So I will try pairing my drone again when I have internet access. Slight drama. So I apologize and you can all blame the internet demons for not getting my drone working. I should have checked it beforehand. Oh look, there is two beavers because there's a beaver dam over there and then there's another one right in front of me. Let me show you. Oh, spooky sounds. That's where the other beaver lives. Right there. Cool. Sunset is pretty much gone. <sighs> okay, buddy. There's ducks that live on this lake apparently. Swimming just over there. I can't tell when I move my jacket if it's me sounds or creature breathing behind me. <laughs> I know it's only a beaver in this lake, but it still is like, you know, it's just before dark. It's been snowing up on the mountains. You can kind of see over here through these gap in the trees, the little white patches where it's landed in the clear, stuck in the clear cut. Now I gotta figure out how to get out somewhere over there, leaving Mr. Beaver well alone. This might be my best bet, other than going exactly the same way that I came in. Oh. Shit. Okay. I didn't fall in, but I've got a wet hand. Oh, that water is cold. I got trapped up on a tree. Okay. The paddle is just too long that it is actually easier to grab hold of sticks and just pull on them to try and squeeze through. Oh, yikes! Without losing me, my phone, myself, getting water in the kayak. lost the pedal. Ow! Ow! Sticks in the hair! Ow! Okay. Okay, I see the shore. This was a better idea than the way we came in. Oh. Okay. Oh, my arm is so wet. Oh, that was so dramatic. This lake is not made for kayaking. Ow! Ow, that hurt. But I made it. Land is just there. I got through all of that mess. And now the mist is going to settle in and and superstitions and bodies of water all kind of blend together so I might just get out of here and leave the magical beings to their night's mystery and see if I can get it in here without getting too wet out this is kind of how dark it really is this makes it look a lot brighter but I can get ashore here And I probably won't get my socks wet, which is great. Okay, see you once I'm out. <sighs> it's dark now. 
I had such a good time. It's so beautiful out there. <sighs> All right, time to go run some errands and then park up for the night. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. A huge thank you to my Patreons, some special treats and travel plan updates coming your way very soon. I read every comment. Thanks so much and I will see you all in the next one very soon. Bye!